Hey everyone, it's uh, Kojak here. I'm finally back on YouTube after a three week leave of absence. Sorry about that. Um, I had some technical difficulties with regards to uploading my videos. Basically, I lost the USB cable for my phone, um, which meant I couldn't upload anything. I then went away to Ireland for a week on holiday. So um, that's why it's been so long. So sorry about that, but I'm back now. Um, the reason I'm not standing in front of the camera is that I've had a hard day at work. My hair's it's late at night, my hair's greasy as hell, and I look a state, so I'd rather not get on the camera. <laughs> this here is my batch of the uh, Cooper's IPA that you remember three weeks or so ago. I uh, asked you questions about hops and stuff, about what to use. Well, as you can see, I've brewed it and I've bottled it. Um, I did do a bit of filming as I was going along and obviously intended to upload that as I went but um, as you know I had technical issues so um, this is a bit of a retrospective video now just showing you um, the hops I chose when they arrived and um, a bit of video of me bottling up once I'd done it all so cheers everyone happy homebrew Wednesday that's my hand there um, it's good to be back on YouTube um, look, I've been sort of checking up on your guys videos so I'm all up to date with what you're doing so hopefully you'll then be up to speed with what I'm up to so so uh, until next week cheers have a good one and uh, you'll see me soon now you remember last week I posted up on Homebrew Wednesday asking your guys opinions on what hops I should use for the da -da -da, Cooper's IPA kit some great suggestions and I kind of went with my first instincts on this one as well. So, I ordered this stuff from the homebrew shop, which I'll post a link to because they're really good. If you're in the UK or Europe, a friend of mine, he, um, I can't remember the uh, his exact username now, but he um, lives in Italy. I'll post his link along the bottom there now. And uh, he ordered loads of stuff from Italy. Uh, he lives in Italy, he ordered loads of stuff. And even with the shipping, it was cheaper than he could get at home. So, that's always good. So, First lot of hops I got then. Your suggestion, I got some Cascade hops all the way from America. Product of USA. I then also got, which I'm sure you guys have probably already guessed, some Citra hops, which uh, again from the USA. That's the place I got them from. Definitely worth a visit. Really good guys. And then while I was there, I also thought I'd get myself, while I'm paying for packaging, get another pack of hops. I've got some Zaz hops for a lager I'm going to do next. So I've heard Zaz is good, got a bit of a peppery taste to it. So again, my hops there. I also got four of these muslin bags to keep the hops in, obviously, while I'm doing the hop tea. So there you go. So now I've got the hops the kit. It's 500 grams of light spray malt and 300 grams of dextrose and that's going to be a mighty fine brew in terms of the amount of hops I'm going to use I thought I would go for tw uh, mm, maybe 12.5 grams of Cascade and 12.5 grams of Citra I don't want to go mad at the moment it's the first time I've done hop edition so I don't want to add too much so there we go hopefully I might get that started at the weekend and I'll maybe post up a vid of me having a play Just about to prime the IPA, I've transferred it to secondary and I'm about to add the priming sugar. So, transferred it to secondary. So now I'll add I've got 185 grams of uh, dextrose and just to make it a bit easier, I add a bit, just not too much, a little bit of boiling water just to dissolve it all. And then I get my spoon, sanitised of course. Give it a stir. Now the good thing with dextrose is it dissolves a hell of a lot quicker than normal sugar. You can see from this, it's pretty much all dissolved already. Yep, that'll do. See, it's pretty much clear as a bell. So, and then. 
add this to the batch like so I've already got my siphon in there and then I need to give this a good old shake just to make sure it mixes in properly I'll also give it a bit of a stir with my spoon as well just need to re-sanitize that first So now the priming sugar is done, let's get bottling, using my bottling wand again. What I tend to do is, while oh, that one's filling up, it's a bit difficult to do here, obviously I'm on the camera at the same time, I pull out another bowl, put it in its place, so that then I can kind of get a, a rolling, rolling top up going. <coughs> 